Let's talk about base gels or as I like to call them leave-in gels. Why do I call them leave-in gels? It's just because we are used to using leave-in conditioners but we skip leave-in conditioners when we want to do very defined wash and goes. Why? Have you ever wondered why your hair is actually coming out like a beautiful curly fro but not very defined? It's because leave-in conditioners in the first place they are not styling products with hold, right? They are meant to have your hair have a conditioned feeling. But does it hold something? Not really. And we all know when you have curly hair, you want to keep the springy bounce of your hair, even when you have wavy hair. But why do all this when the next day your hair is going to frizz out again, looking like a frizzy ball? No, you want to preserve the styling, right? You want to preserve each individual curl. And you can only achieve this with styling products with hold. But if you really don't like crunchy gel casts, it's okay. Just go on and use your leave-in conditioners. But bear in mind that many leave-in conditioners because of their high oil and butters content, they often don't agree with the gels you want to use. This is why you will experience a lot, a lot, a lot of flaking onto your hair. Yeah, so bear this in mind because I was there once too. My hair clumped and it shrank a lot so you would see tiny tiny really really tiny corkscrew ringlets but they won't be really elongated and if i would stretch them out with satin scrunchies for example silk scrunchies for example or heat stretch it with blow dryers it will become a frizzy, it won't be really frizzy, but it will become a, a some kind of an afro with curly ends. So it will be an curl, a curly afro. And this is not really the look you want to have sometimes. Sometimes, yeah, we all have to admit it, we, we, want, we don't want that gravity fighting look. We want to have our hair down. Just like my hair is down and flowing now with my braids, right? You want to have your hair down and it needs the hold. Your hair needs the hold. So let's talk about my favorite moisturizing gels or base gels or leave-in gels. Key to wash and goes is to really layer products over your hair. It might seem a lot, but let me tell you, it's not a lot. When you do your LCO or lock method, that's a lot, to be honest, because many, many use a leave-in conditioner, right? Or they use a moisturizing cream or something else. Then they would layer raw oils and butters on top, right? And additionally will oil their scalp. So laying products to define your hair strands, for me it doesn't sound a lot because it depends on what kind of hair you have. Is it on the silky side? Is it on the cottony side? Is it thin or is it thick hair strands? Do you have low density, medium density, or do you have high density hair? It will look like three people's head, <laughs> three people's hair on your entire head, right? So it really depends and 
key to the definition is to find good combinations of gels to layer your look. Before I get started, don't get confused. Some brands specifically advise to layer their leave-in conditioners on top. So don't get me wrong. But the only brand I'm having successful wash and goes when I use their leave-in conditioner with their gel on top is Kinky Curly. That's the only brand. So let's dig in. Ta-da! Kinky Curly Curling Custard. It's almost empty. I've used it a lot. One of my favorite gels and one of my first gels where I achieved successful wash and goes. What do the instructions say? Wash and condition your hair. So start on clean hair. If you want to have successful wash and goes, start on clean hair. Hair that is wet. Don't start on hair that has already leave-in products inside and that has already oils and butters inside. You will be disappointed and wasting your money. All right. So the instructions also say hair must be dripping wet. Dripping, dripping wet means soaking wet hair. Many of you do the mistake that they don't have soaking wet hair. And here are the instructions, but why don't you read? Why don't you read at least? So, key to a successful wash and go when you start your base gels. Start on clean and soaking wet hair. Now you can comb, brush or rack it into each section. And I think you have seen in my previous videos how I do my hair. I just use small sections and smooth the product down my hair strands. And this is actually it. This is the magic of using a base gel. Now, maybe you are some minutes into this a very long introduction and you ask yourself why is she talking about base gels what are base gels base gels are there to to have your hair moisturized just like a leave-in conditioner but i just told you that leave-in conditioners don't have hold so find something that has hold and what is working best for Curly hair actually and wavy hair is to find products that are high in humectants. So what I'm presenting you here are products high in humectants, are products that I've used for many weeks and I've been really falling in love with them. What are the ingredients for example of Kinky Curly Curling Custard? First, or one of the first ingredients should always be water, right? Now, you, where are the humectants here? It contains aloe vera juice. It contains agave nectar extract. It contains marshmallow. So these are actually humectants. And this is of course a botanical gel, just like all the other gels I will be presenting to you. What it really does is that it doesn't only enhance and define and clump your hair strands, it, it keeps it smooth and builds a, a light film around your hair so that it doesn't dry out easily. This is what base gels do. So they clump your hair, get yourself a definition. But many times it's not enough to just use one gel because your hair has not the hydration levels maybe you're living in humid areas right it depends on your lifestyle depends on how your hair is 
Is it silky? Is it cottony? Is it tight curly? Is it on, on the loose side? And these are all factors that you have to take in account when you start your wash and go journey. But today I'm only talking about the base so that you have something in mind when you go to the grocery stores or I don't know drug stores, beauty stores, you will at least have in mind what I said about finding gels or custards that are high in humectants. Then comes another classic gel. It's the Camerose Curl Maker. This is my second gel I tried out during the years. So Kinky Curly Curling Cassette was my first gel that I tried out when I wanted to do Wash and Ghost. And the Curl Maker was my second gel. At that time, so seven years ago, seven, six years ago, Kinky Curly Curling Cassette was too expensive so I had to find alternatives and Camerose just appeared in Germany and it was easier to order and I just needed to drive to Hamburg it was easier to buy and this is how I came to this brand actually what do the instructions say apply a generous amount to freshly washed and detangled hair can you hear you know, sometimes I feel like you are annoyed when I tell you wash your hair more often. You will see in the in the kinkiest state of your 4C or 4Z hair, you will one day see your hair clumping, your hair elongated, but wash your hair more often. And yeah, you can see on the label, or I'm reading it loud out, that it says to start on freshly washed and detangled hair and then distribute the gel through sections from root to tip just like the kinky curly curling custard custard ensure hair is wet while using this defining jelly to finger style so key to wash and goes when you start the styling process use a base gel and start on clean and soaking wet hair. How was my experience in the past with a curling maker? I was disappointed, to be honest, because I didn't know that my hair doesn't need leave-in conditioners. I always paired it with their curl milk. It's a kind of leave-in. And it's not really working for my hair type. I'm not sure why cottony textures are having a hard time to absorb products with a higher oil and butters content. So I would always use, you know, the leave-in, their, their leave-in, and would layer the curl maker on top. Sometimes I would get amazing results. It would look nice, but uh, don't get me wrong, it won't look as my usual wash and goes, so hair hanging down. It, it will create a very defined curl pattern, but it will be much more of the afro side where the roots are more puffy and the ends are really coily and spirally, but it's not the same. And often what I also remember is that when you touch your hair, you will feel some kind of greasiness. A couple of weeks ago, I, I wanted to give the curl maker another shot because I'm not using leave-in conditioners anymore. And I started to apply it directly on my wet and clean hair. And I was so surprised. The curl maker actually started foaming up just like I'm used to it when I use Innocence I Create Hold. I got curl elongation and my, my hair strand just, you know, 
fell down down towards earth and this is amazing this is really amazing i paired it with giovanni gel and also with innocence gel so this is why you can use this as a base gel and it will work wonders what's it tight where are the humectants it contains aloe vera juice agave extract marshmallow root extract just like kinky curly curling custard and it contains nettle leaf this curling custard actually contains oils so coconut oil is the third ingredient i'm not sure why i've never used the curl maker alone directly on my hair i, I tried it with lots of leave-in conditioners and my hair always flaked. So the only products that work together are from the same brand actually. And if you have silky hair strands, just for example like my son's hair, it works wonders with, their, with the leave-in conditioner. Now, when you have a curly hair obsession or a natural hair obsession, you will always, you know, take close eye to all the trends wherever they are coming from. I've seen many ladies that tried out Uncle Funky Daughter. It's the Curly Magic Curl Stimulator. And of course, I had to get it. It was so expensive. <laughs> this bottle was expensive, but I had to get it. It's amazing. It, the label says it's a curl enhancing gel. It strengthens hair, promotes growth, provides shine, blah blah blah. But what's more important is it is very high in aloe vera. Again, a humectant. What's more inside? It contains marshmallow root extract. It contains nettle, it contains agave extract and hostel extract. So it contains all the goodies and this is why many are raving this product. And what I especially love about when your hair is maximum hydrated, you can even use this alone. And I love the way it leaves a shiny film on my hair. My cottony hair is on the sheen side. It doesn't have a lot of shine. It doesn't reflect light because of the way my hair strands kink or bend together. But this really does the magic. Along the Kinky Curly Curling Custard, both products always leave a very shiny coating on my hair again what do the instructions say it says to apply something before but i'm not going to name it it basically says to apply it on soaking wet tresses in sections from root to end so again there's no real magic or secret behind wash and goes. You just have to read the instructions. Don't spray your hair. It will take forever to spray your hair soaking wet. Start with clean and wet hair and do your thing. Your hair will look amazing. Yes. So this is another very wonderful base gel. So here comes another gel. It's Buclam Curl Defining Gel. It has a very citrusy smell. I love it, but it's not overpowering. This gel works different. Why do I say it works different? Because it has a very liquid consistency. It is not really thick. It's more on the runny side, but still you have to work on soaking wet hair in order to see the clumps. The label says it's a smoothing medium hot gel. So when you want to look out for base gels and you see that all right they are high in humectants also look 
at how strong it is. Medium hot gel will do wonders on type 2 or 3 hair, but on type 4 hair, tightly curly wavy hair, it won't have a hold you need. You need something on top. So bear this in mind, we are talking about base gels, not the one gel you use alone. You could try it out, you could try all these gels out alone, but I bet when your hair is not hydrated enough, in two days, <laughs> in 48 hours, your hair will frizz out. What do instructions say further? Breakthrough, wet hair with fingers. Apply in sections for even distribution. Style, gel will dry firm. Start on wet hair. That's all I'm going to say. If I see you spraying your dry hair, your hair is damp or has not even touched enough water, but you're saying your hair is wet enough because it's starting to shrink, don't tell me these products are not working. It's your techniques. Soaking wet. Clean hair the best. Apply your first layer of base gel and you will see wonders. And then comes my last gel, it's the Flora and Curl Curl Defining Gel. Another botanical gel, just like all the gels I presented to you. This was a gifted item. I love the look of a label and I also like that it directly says it's a plant infused curl gel with marshmallow root so if you are really into do-it-yourselves and you already use hibiscus tea and things like marshmallow you will actually love this brand what do the instructions say distribute on wet or damp hair but i find out that for my hair type wet hair works best damp hair not really if I want really defined wash and goes. If you follow me on yeah! Instagram at ButterMePerfect or yeah! TikTok at RabielParfait, you will find all these brands that I have presented to you on my post. It gave me very defined wash and goes. The smell is also fine. It's not runny. I would describe the consistency similar to Uncle Funky Daughter. This is it. I hope you like my tips. See you in the next video where I present to you gels that you can use on top of these gels just to get started. So engage. See you. I don't wanna.